Although you don't see the fascia while you're on the deck, it definitely adds a lot of value when you're looking back at the house. On this deck, we'll be using one piece of 1 by 12 by 12 foot enhanced Rocky Harbor on each side with a full and partial piece across the front. Sometimes the perimeter of the frame can become warped before you install the fascia, so be sure to measure both the top and bottom of the rim joist and cut accordingly. Also, remember to leave a gap on the ends appropriate for the temperature during installation. After trimming one rough cut end of the board, I'm now measuring for the short point of my 45 degree angle at the other end. I'll do this by marking on the back side of the fascia. After I marked the back side of the fascia, I set my miter saw to 45 degrees and made the cut. Next, I pre-drilled holes for the fascia screws that attach the fascia to the frame. All Trex approved fascia screws utilize a pre-drill bed that creates a pocket for the shank of the screw, allowing the fascia to float independent of the framing lumber. Three fascia screws are installed two inches in from each end and three more at a maximum of 18 inches on center throughout the length of the fascia. All right, the fascia is cut to length and pre-drilled, so I'm almost ready to attach it to the frame. Because I'm working alone, I made a temporary support from wood scraps to support each end while I adjust the fascia into position. I clamped the fascia temporarily so that I could make my adjustments, checking both ends, making sure I leave a slight gap for shrinkage of the wood frame as well as movement of the fascia. Once I finish fastening the front, I'll just repeat the process on both sides of the deck. That wraps it up for this video on how to install Trex Enhanced Fascia. Join me for video three of three, where I'll talk about installing Trex Enhanced railing on the main part of the deck, as well as the stairs. Thanks for watching.